Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Yes, this video shout out goes to someone that goes by Burhan. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to dive into a little bit more, y'all, because as everything starts coming together, mm hmm, and we're starting to understand better why the enemy tries so hard. To get control of the mind. And I'm going to share with y'all. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yes, today. Oh, starting yesterday. With that snake email. Oh, my gosh. What a weird question. Anyway. Yeah. What, it's like he asked, uh, when, when were you saved? And then right after that, asked if I was single. I'm like, well, go away. <laughs> no, we're not wasting God's time with that. So... But then this, then this morning, oh my goodness, y'all, yeah, the enemy is trying. But you know what's so funny is that, uh, what it, okay, uh, yeah, I got to share this. They referred to the, 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 my, the spiritual awakening, right? Okay, so you know how the enemy is going to try to use lingo that you use. See, this is that, you know, pay attention, pay attention, that mindfulness, okay? And you'll catch it every single time because never forget. The enemy will always use cognitive dissonance as a weapon to deceive. A weapon of deception. Okay? So, yeah, I've got a post over there in the CD space on Quora about that as well. Okay? Because I had fun with that one. Boy, let me tell you. And I was like, okay, so telling me that I, that, that I am advanced in the awakening. And in my, my first thought was, hmm, that's slightly an understatement because I saw right through that deception. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I, this is why I tell y'all, the enemy is an idiot. Okay? The, <laughs> no new tricks. Nothing new under the sun. But we're going we're gonna to talk, we're going to discuss. How about that? Let's drop some stuff down there in the comments. Get it rolling, y'all. Because, you know, share, 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 share. Because, let me tell you, it it's a, that battle, the battle, the, psych, the battle against psychological and emotional manipulation every single day. This is why God needs us to armor up. This is why God needs us to hold steadfast, hold steadfast, excuse me, <laughs> hold steadfast with him. Okay, don't throw in the towel. Don't, no, 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 no. Keep going, keep healing, okay? that We got to stay with the Heavenly Father, yep. Picking up our cross and following Jesus. And that's it. We don't need no man. Oh, yeah, I want you to say be uh, be, uh, be rewarded by man. Nah. I'm waiting. For, I, I, I'm good. I'm waiting on God. Okay? We're good, right? That's right. But I'm going to share some scripture with you all again. Because this is very, very, very important. And we're going to revisit this going forward in the spiritual awakening. Yes, in God's reality. Because... Again, he always reveals something new. Okay, so I'm going to read it from the space, the devil in narcissism, over there on Quora. Okay, because the enemy's trying so hard to get control of the mind. Because it's the same thing that Lucifer, before he became Satan, or was named Satan, so to speak, before that, he threatened to take over God's kingdom. And so now we know where the kingdom of God is, right? We know it's the mind. So now we understand better why it's a spiritual battle for the mind, right? Yes, because see, the enemy wants to get control of the mind so that, so that the person loses all their ability to self-think. Loses their ability to make righteous decisions. Loses their ability to analyze. Loses their ability to think critically. Loses their ability to, to to make decision based on logic and reasoning. Oh, the list goes on. Drop some in the comments below because there's more. Whatever y'all can think of. Yes, let's jump start your self-thinking ability. It's still there. All right? It's still there. The narcissistic abuser could not take that from you. Okay, might have stunted it for a little bit with that confusion coma okay might have stunted it just a little bit not well i would you know that's not even the right word let's think of something else stunted not so much just kind of um stagnated it 
you know, kind of like, okay, is what, because all, yeah, that game of ping pong, we'll go more in detail about that another time, but all of that, that's God leveling things back out, y'all, okay, because remember, that abuse, yeah, that traumatization, it's all about altering the brain chemistry on purpose, okay, and it's to do that, so now we want to jump start, okay, that's part of the healing process, to you know, reignite, how about that, that's a better way to put it, reignite your self-thinking ability, so that you can make the right decision for you, okay, that will please God, the God spirit in you, okay, that's right, absolutely, what it's all about, All right, so, in Isaiah 14, 13, and 14, huge, right here, all right, so, and it's Jesus, you know, this is God and Jesus, you know, Jesus was the messenger for God. So, ultimately, no, again, don't get it to it. Don't, don't let anyone get this twisted, y'all. We know that Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. Yes, he it tells us that in Scripture as well. He was the messenger for God. Alright, so he's speaking what God is telling him to speak. The Holy Spirit. Remember, the Holy Spirit is our ultimate guide, okay? The guide. That's why. That's why when we armor up, we say, May the Holy Spirit grant us utterance to speak boldly as we ought to speak. Okay? That's why it's part of the armor up. Got to do that, right? May the Holy Spirit give us the word to speak. The, that would be God speaking through us. Like God speaking through Jesus while he was here. Okay, and he's still here in spirit. Let that sink in, okay? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend unto heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the north. I will ascend above the height of the cloud. I will be like the most high. That was the devil threatening to take over God's kingdom. Okay? Stop and think about this. In the sides of the north. Both sides of the brain. Bingo! Okay? Let that sink in. Both sides of the north. Okay, what's north? What? What's the highest? Uh, uh, right. What's the highest in our physical body? The brain. Right? And both sides of the north, which is, this is north, our feet would be south, okay, what, yeah, and then east, west, okay, spiritual, y'all, spiritual, mm-hmm, yeah, all right, and then, he says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, hmm, really, okay, <laughs> oh, forgive me, but I was just like, yeah, because we start to see, like, wait a minute, Okay, so ascending into heaven. Okay, y'all, we learn when we find out the kingdom of God, both sides of the north, okay, the brain, our mind, soul, no, the, you, you, it, it, it's all connected, okay, because remember the soul, that's where all of the subconscious, that's where all of our emotion, our our formulated, so to speak, or formed, okay, that's where they're kind of housed, okay, and so, it's like the enemy is essentially saying he's going to take over all of that, okay, the entire head, and we pretty much can see that the narcissistic abusers, oh yeah, it worked on them, absolutely, that the enemy's got full control, the demon spirits are attached to their mind, okay, controlling everything that they do, and they don't, a lot of them don't know it, Okay, it's just a really amazing thing. And so, the enemy is trying to say he will be like the Most High. Trying to say that he, he's going to mirror God? Really? How's that, how's that working out for him? <laughs> right? For God chosen? How's that working out for him? Not so well, is it? There you go. Alright, so, anytime, anytime you experience a spiritual attack, y'all, that is always going to be designed to try to get in here, okay? 
is going to have deception. This is why it's all, oh my goodness, very, very important to definitely, you know, be patient with God. Be patient with yourself as he developed that discernment. Because you'll come across things like that, okay? Yes, you know, like I said at the very beginning, this morning it was like, wow, fiery dart, fiery dart, fiery dart, fiery dart, fiery dart. I was like, rebuke in the name of Jesus. Whoa, okay. But we also know what that means, too. That the enemy, you know, whenever God reveals the enemy, again, we turn around, we thank him in advance for whatever he's got coming our way that God got, okay? So that's just a good way to kind of like, all right, you know what? Turning that negative into a positive. Yeah! Turning that negative into a positive. Always, always, always. And that's how we do it. Okay, we take that negative. It's like I've said before how God, whatever, whenever the enemy dishes something out. Because you see what God did here. Whenever the enemy threatened, saying that he's going to try to become like the most high. Okay, he's going to try to become like the most high God. He's going to try to mirror God. Well, remember y'all, the enemy cannot mirror righteous spirituality. Mm -mm. Cannot do it. God was very, very strategic with that. This is why, okay, many of us, okay, when we started to pick up on people who were trying to mirror, okay, that copycat behavior, all uh, right, anytime they would do that, I'm not saying that we don't share good ideas. Of course we do that, you know. That's what we're supposed to do, okay, to lift each other up, to help each other grow, help each other heal, help each other learn God's spiritual truth. Okay, to make sense of it all, to help each other as a community. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. But we don't copy each other. All right, we don't copy each other. We can borrow, like I know some people have said, you know, when I say I kid you not, and then some other people will pick up on that. That's fine. That's not what we're talking about. Okay, that's not complete mirroring. Uh-uh. No, because I mean, let's face it, God's chosen, we, we're going to have a lot in common anyway. Okay, because of the empathy and the compassion. We're going to have that in common anyway. Alright, so it's okay for us to share our ideas and things like that. When, you know, b me being mindful, of course. You know, and as always, y'all, we got to ask God. You know, say, hey God, Heavenly Father, do you want me to share this? Or, no. Because not everything that God downloads for you needs to be revealed. There are going to be some things that stay just between you and the Godhead. Okay? That's bottom line. Yes. He will He will let us know. Again, remember the Holy Spirit. Okay? Yeah. Grants us utterance to speak boldly. Okay? The Holy Spirit will give us what we need to say. When we need to say it. On God's time. Okay? Always. So that's why, that's why oftentimes you'll hear God tell us in Scripture, too, about, kind of, and, and I'm a paraphrase, of course, but he tells us about, you know, how the foolish, okay, speak all their minds. Right, but the wise, yep, we keep it in for, for a good time until, if, okay, if we're to reveal it. It depends, it's up to God, always, okay? So when the enemy tried to threaten to take over and th was trying to say he was going to be like the Most High, this is why we have to be careful. This is why we need that discernment. This is why, okay, God takes his time with us to develop it. Because you'll be able to read between the lines easier, all right, whenever you get a message that may seem like a good opportunity, right? This is just a good example. Because, hey, many of us got a lot of these. Okay, we had to learn of the deception, so that, now we don't fall for it again. But I would tell you, when you get something and it seems like a good opportunity, but you want to be able to have that discernment and read between the lines. Okay, and I'll tell you something. If, if I catch awkward lingo, a.k.a. word salad, okay, yeah, all right, that's pretty, that, that y'all, is probably one of the easiest things to catch, okay? But you gotta be using that discernment as well, okay? And because it will be it awkward uh, wording, okay? Word salad, and you know some. And, and I'm not saying we don't seek perfection, okay? But there are certain things that 
you know, when you can kind of detect when the person is speaking in code, that's another red flag as well. Okay? That's another red flag. Because all of that stuff right there, remember... The enemy is trying to get control of the mind, okay? He's trying to he's trying to take over the kingdom of God, okay? We're, and we are soldiers for God, okay? Spiritual warriors for Christ, okay? We are God's soldiers, chosen ones, yes. So, when that happens, we just have to stop, think about it, look at it. And I'll tell you, there's one I got that, boy, my eyes just popped, about popped out of my head. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. <laughs> I was like, how obvious was that? Okay? And so that's what I'm saying. The further along you get in your healing process, the further along in the spiritual awakening you are, the more you'll be able to pick up because God's going to reveal things that quick. Okay? And it will become obvious what once was not so obvious before. Okay? And then that's why we realize later on that a lot of these things, you know, that the enemy was pulling all these shenanigans and th things like that. And that who the narcissistic abusers really are. But they were hiding in plain sight the whole time. Okay, but because of that cloud of confusion, we didn't notice it. But now with that cloud of confusion being lifted, okay, by the Heavenly Father renewing the mind. Okay, you'll be able to spot that stuff and it will be just like... Boom, right there. Wow. Okay, that's obvious. Okay, you will. You will. So hang in there if you haven't gotten there yet. All right, hang in there. Because that's coming. That's inevitable. All right, as God continues to shape and mold. Okay, so that you, he's opening your spiritual eyes. Okay, because he knows you're going to need them. I mean, after all, it's a spiritual battle for the mind. So... He, you know, you got to have your spiritual eyes, right? The two clear lenses. So once you have that, it gets a lot easier going forward. So that when, and not only that, y'all, God needs you to be able to catch when something's from him versus when it's from the enemy. Okay? So that's another part of the process. So that, that discernment and then being able to go, okay, wait a minute. All right, this, that, that, you know, when the enemy uses cognitive dissonance as a weapon of deception, that's when we go, oh, okay, that again, really? Man, it does. It gets even easier because that's why we say it a lot and why God tells us that there couldn't be nothing new under the sun because the enemy's got no new tricks, right? We say that often for a reason because it, it does. It's all about patterns. You know, when you have a good recognition of patterns, all right, the enemy will always use the same pattern to try to get in there, okay? Yes, yeah, he'll try to use the exact same pattern. And so we go, you know what? Nope. Get behind us, Satan, for you are an offense to us. That's right. Okay? That God is making thy enemy the footstool. Okay? And again, that's, that is not physical. Okay? That's spiritual. Yep. Let that sink in. As always, if y'all have any questions, you know where to reach me. For more information, insight, encouragement, and other good stuff, you can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.